Guys, welcome back to Beverage Hunters Review Show. I'm Justin. Woo! Ricky Bobby. Oh, Ricky Dave. Bobby, shake it back. <laughs> Guys, we have another one from Michael Walter Brewing. We had to bring out the Napa 50 years <laughs> the license plate because, I mean, <laughs> Michael Waltrip is a staple for NASCAR. Without Michael Waltrip, you wouldn't have that fun, energetic feller that gets on there yeah. pre-race. And he's won the Daytona 500 twice, dude. Twice? Two times. Wow. Uh, so today- That's two times more than I have. Yes, Dave. <laughs> yeah. And he's Damn. won at Talladega, I think twice. God, I haven't got that one Correct either. Correct me if I'm I think it's twice. I'm pretty sure he won there twice. So here we go. This is the Bristol T Sunshine Tangerine Ale. Interesting. Ooh, the last one was Talladega. This one's Bristol. The top two tracks in NASCAR. You can't okay. go wrong with either one. Here's what we got. I'm excited to try this one out of North Carolina. It is Michael Waltrip Brewing. I love seeing Michael on TV. He's very fun, energetic, and just a great dude. And oh. he has a brewery. And don't drink and drive. Please don't. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't make it in NASCAR. Yeah. You can buy their beer at bivana.com, link below, and then go follow them on their social media, all linked below. Let's do this thing. Michael Waltrip, we want to fly out there and learn the story behind the brew. So fly us out there so we Please. can... <laughs> that would be huge, man. Oh, the biggest brewery I've ever done would be that one. Here it is. This is a tangerine ale coming in at 4.5. Okay. So another low ABV, hopefully easy drinker. Again, beautiful color. Look at that. Clean. Oh, yeah. Nice, clean color. Great head on that thing. Let's see if I can give Dave a good head. There we go. Yes, sir. The Tangerine Ale from Michael Walchip Brewing on the nose. This Ooh. Tangerine. Tangerine. It's forward, tangerine. man. Yeah, it is. That smells amazing. Refreshing yeah, scent. Yeah. Refreshing. Oh, yeah. All right, Davis. Let's do this. this. Cheers. Wow. Light. Light. Refreshing. Tangerine forward. Yeah. Easy to drink. It doesn't. Well, I don't think I've had something quite like that for a tangerine. The aftertaste is not that bad. It's not that bad. <clears throat> a lot of beers I've had in the past with like your fruit and your peach and stuff like your peach and tangerine, stuff like that. Aftertaste is always just kind of, ugh. And this isn't bad. It's pretty clean. Damn kids and their cell phones, I swear. Hold on. <laughs> and back. Uh, Dave. Was refreshing. that another comment on our OnlyFans account? I wish. <sighs> yes, another ding for money. Yeah. No. We'll do <laughs> uh, we the do Michael Walchip Brewing Tangerine Ale. Dave, fantastic it flavor, is. man. He's, he did good. Like, this is a true tangerine flavor. We've had a couple tangerines on the yeah. show. And they haven't been this precise and tangerine. Plus, they were wheat ales, weren't they? They were, I think there were, it was a wheat. Yeah, they were wheats. This one is just, just delicious, very this is tangerine. Clean. Forward. It doesn't have that. Yeah, clean. Straight, yeah. clean lager, tangerine, mm -hmm. refreshing, just. You can down this thing yeah, easy. I, I, I like this one because this I'm is good. a good race day beer. It doesn't have that aftertaste that it doesn't, you does normally it? do from beers like this. Yeah, this is a clean aftertaste. Very clean. Goes down smooth and easy, and you just want to drink some more because it's just sweet. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I enjoy it. Wow, I do like that tangerine flavor on that. It's just a nice, clean beer. Uh, eight five. Eight five. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, eight five. There you Nothing go, guys. More. Go try it. It's from Michael Walter Brewing. You can order it if you're not anywhere in North Carolina or wherever their other breweries are at. Um, Bavana.com, that's where I got it. I got a four pack mm -hmm. of each. Uh, the Talladega Light and this one. So Yeah, Michael, once you retire, buddy, you you got yourself oh, set. He's been retired. He's just oh, on Fox he? now. Yeah, he's Never on Fox mind. doing live TV <laughs> and running a brewery the other half of the year. Yeah, he's he's doing you're doing great with his brewery, dude. I like it. Amazing beer. I, I'm excited to see how far the oh, Wow. The brewery, <laughs> yeah, the brewery reaches. I think they have a couple locations. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but their social media and Bavana will be posted below. So you can go over there and try it for yourself. 
I highly recommend either one, the Talladega Light and this Bristol Sunshine yeah. uh, Tangerine Ale. It is phenomenal. Yeah, for being lighter beers, or both of them are. I know, only four or five. Excellent. And then a 4.2, I think, is this one? Something like that. It doesn't matter. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. Go try them. Uh, grab yourself a big pack because these are so nice. On race day, dude, if you're at the track and you see some Michael Walter brewing, especially, he probably has these at Bristol and Talladega. He probably does. I don't know why you wouldn't. <clears throat> So uh, grab yourself as many as you can because you're going to just drink these all weekend. Highly probably, recommend. It's probably 15 to $20 for a 16-ounce pour. Uh, the, <laughs> yes, if you're at the track. Yeah, probably. if you're at the track, yeah. <laughs> but like we said in the last one, Michael Waltrip hit us up. We want to fly out there to North Carolina to your brewery, interview you, and talk about your journey as a brewer. As a brewer and learn the story behind the brew of Michael Walter Brewing, because this is yeah. a fantastic beer so far. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah, both of I, them in the eights. I enjoy both of them. They're both Get great. out. Yeah. Get out. If you're a NASCAR fan, this is one of the only brewers or racers to have a brewery. So try it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. See you later. Cheers.